So it, all the time, our whole lives, uh, we're spending growing, growing wiser, growing more mature, growing taller, just growing. And over this long period of time, while we grow, we also make a multitude of friendships. Um, besides that, there are many avenues of growing. So today I'm going to speak about one of my passions, something that I did before and I do on and off. And it kind of ties into my last speech. I last spoke about debating, um, which is one of my current passions. Um, but today I'm going to speak about one of the avenues which I grew through, which is quizzing. So quizzing, if you Google quiz, it's to ask questions. Synonyms are um, interrogation. So when I was in school, I used to actively participate in quizzing, in quizzes. And um, quizzes are about general knowledge. They're about general knowledge questions. And usually you're in a team and that you answer it as a team. It's a competitive sport like anything like soccer or basketball or debating for that matter. So I just chanced upon quizzing um, just like that, out of the blue. Um, so um, I, 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 I did ISC, which is like, it's equivalent to O levels. Um, so I was doing economics then and my teacher was also my principal. So being my principal, he had a lot of other duties. So we had like an assistant teacher. So the assistant teacher was this really um, nice guy um, and he was, he was from my school but he had graduated and he was on his sandwich chair where you can like you can do a break in your university. So he was on a sandwich chair back from Howard and so he would like substitute for my te my principal for this economics lessons. And instead of teaching us any economics, he would do general knowledge quizzes. And maybe because he was extremely good looking or <laughs> maybe I just enjoyed quizzing, but that's how my interest in quizzing started. Um, so quizzing is extremely random. So they're gonna ask you stuff like, what is diasmorphic disorder? They're gonna ask you stuff like, um, which is the newest um, Michelin star restaurant? And maybe because we had the same reference points um, and because the quizzing culture in the city that I've lived in was extremely like developed, um, I enjoyed it. And um, I didn't have to practice really. It was just generally what you know about. And since I knew about stuff that maybe that person knew about, we did well in it. So in fact, one of my classmates, his father, uh, founded the Karnataka Quiz Association. And as well as my principal, whenever he would come down, he was also a keen quizzer. So um, I went on quizzing a lot. We would go, in a lot of, go to a lot of inter-school quiz competitions. And um, my first success in quizzing was at an Independence Day quiz. So this was in celebration of the Indian Independence Day. And um, uh, we won first prize. So that, that was my first success in quizzing. Um, it was, I wasn't supposed to be uh, quizzing actually that day. So it was at a school assembly where this quiz took place. What I had actually signed up for um, was a Rangoli competition. Rangoli is just like an art form which one does on the floor. But I was, um, I think someone was absent for the quiz. So I was the replacement and we ended up winning. It's not largely because of me, but uh, but yeah, we ended up winning and we did get prizes, which were just books and book vouchers, but it's kind of prestigious to go in front of your whole school and um, quiz on stage. So I continued to quiz and um, there are a lot of quizzing competitions back home, but here there are not many. But the ones that do exist um, come from where I'm from. So there are two quizzes which happen in Singapore and they're yearly events. One is Tata Crucible and one is Tap Me. So 
I participated in Tata Crucible, which is a general knowledge quiz in competition, both in 2015 and in 2016 to not much success. But this year, um, I participated in um, another quiz in competition, which does come back from India, and they come here to conduct this quiz, and this year happened in SMU. And this year, I did have some success. So out of, a team, out of um, participants of about 20 teams, they were, uh, we had a preliminary round where there were selections, and out of those 20 teams, um, six teams were called up on stage, and one of those six teams was my team. So, yeah. So, yeah, we only reached the finals, and we placed third in the finals. We didn't get any prize, but it's just the thrill of listening as well as participating in quizzes. Um, in fact, the winners um, were my dear friends, Shalini and Vikyat, they were the champions, and they, they won the quiz. And um, it's really exciting for them because they win a trip to India. Not, not only is that an exciting uh, opportunity, they also get to participate in quizzes. Um, so to say the least, um, I recommend quizzing to everyone. It's, it's a great sport. I enjoy it myself. And more than anything, it's fun. It's, it's now become my hobby, and I really do encourage everyone to 